What is up, guys? Stashing here, and I am back after Universe just exploded. We've still got our main event of Raw to come, and main event itself, the show, so. And I think it's, it didn't save the results of that match. We're going to have to simulate it. We'll just pretend, no matter what, that Zach uh, Payne and Big Show came out with the win. All right. Oh, they still come out with the win anyway. So, yeah. As Dave Turner is going for a tag to his partner, Zach Cage, guys, Cage jumps off the ring apron and leaves Turner high and dry to a two-on-one situation. Turner turns right into a jumping cutter from Payne, and Payne is able to pick up the one, two, three for his team. Great momentum boost for uh, the tag champs as they head into their title defense this Sunday at the Royal Rumble. But uh, we got some friction now between Cage and Turner, and we still got our main events come, guys. Our main event of Raw, then the main event itself. Hello, Susan. <laughs> well, that depends, Long Gears. Do you have an Xbox One? If you have an Xbox One, do you have 2K? If you have 2K, do you have your own call? Because that's what this is here. It is Community Universe Mode, where I use calls. I don't use actual superstars on the roster unless they're involved in a storyline somehow. <laughs> It is time for our main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir, then. This is Community Universe Mode, where people make calls for me on the Xbox One, and then I put them in Universe Mode, and we see what happens. And if you actually look a couple up, Kendra just posted a link, communityuniverse.forumotion.com. That is our website for the show. We got role plays from the superstars. Match cards, everything you can think of. You want to join the site? And it's time for our main event of Raw after Universe just shit the bed a couple minutes ago. But it's okay, we're back. And it's time to see a preview of this Sunday's main event at the Royal Rumble. Hayden will be putting the World Heavyweight Championship on the line against his challenger here tonight, Jeremy Blake. The question is still in the air, though, whether or not it will be a double title match. Will Jeremy Blake be putting, be, be putting his Intercontinental title on the line as well? We don't know yet. It depends on whether or not Hayden has accepted JBL's proposal. But we still yet to hear anything from Hayden. We still yet to hear anything from JBL or Jeremy Blake, even for that matter. I don't even know if Blake knows if he'll be putting his title on the line this Sunday at the Rumble. He knows he'll be getting his world, a world championship match, but... Well, it's not really a... That's not really an offensive thing to say, but I don't think I look I don't look like Dean Ambrose at all. You think that looks like Dean Ambrose? That's not an offensive thing to say. Dean Ambrose is a handsome man, I'm not afraid to say it. Here we go, ref gonna ring the bell, made event of raw guys. It is false count anywhere here. The world heavyweight champion Hayden taking on the intercontinental champion Jeremy Blake, a preview of this Sunday's main event at the Royal Rumble, the second annual Royal Rumble, guys. Of course, we know Hayden will, be his, will, Hayden will be putting his world title on the line. Will Jeremy Blake be putting his intercontinental title on the line? Hopefully, we find out before the Royal Rumble starts. The Royal Rumble event, guys, will be tomorrow. I will be recording it around 6 o'clock. You know I'll be late, though. Probably not, no more than an hour. Maybe I'll even be early. Who knows? Just stick around the site. Stay on your Xbox. Just stay. 
You might as well just stay on tonight and just wait for it. You know you're excited, guys. The second annual Royal Rumble match. It's going to be a good 30 men vying to headline the second annual Royal Rumble event to get a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship to make history. They got to outlast 29 other superstars, though, this Sunday. Ooh! Forearm right to the back of Hayden's head. This is false count anywhere. No disqualifications, no count outs. Pinfall submissions can count anywhere around the arena, on the stage, on the announce table, on the ramp, and the audience. Page is a very handsome man, and so is Jeremy Blake. <laughs> oh, nice drop kick from the Intercontinental Champion, who's coming off a loss last week against Sushi X. Hayden's coming off two losses straight against Sushi X. Of course, we know Sushi and uh, Hayden are both members of X Gen, but lately there's been a lot of friction in X Gen, guys. Hayden, of course, this proposal by JBL. JBL confronted Hayden two weeks ago and said, I'll tell you what, if you choose one member of your faction, one member of X Gen to be fired, to, to be completely gone, I will fire them. They don't even have to know that you were involved. But of course, they do because the promo was live. But that, that's neither here nor there. JBL said, You pick one member of X Gen to be fired. I will force Jeremy Blake to put the Intercontinental Championship on the line. You can make history. Hayden, you can make history by becoming the first man to unify two singles titles. Hayden walked away and he said, I'll think about it, JBL. Leaving the Raw General Manager with possibly the biggest smile we've ever seen on his face. And then earlier tonight before the show went on the air, we saw Hayden in the locker room. He got confronted by Action. Action pretty much said all of them, Omega Z, Triple H, Sushi X, Duo. They all said, you're not really thinking about this, Hayden. And then Hayden will get in Triple H's face and say, what have you done for me, Triple H? I mean, Sushi X and Omega Z have always had my back, but what have you done for me? Pretty much just stormed out of the out of the room, almost out of the ring. Pushing Duo aside, guy. Oh, and nasty European up because of the ref. Luckily, there are no DQs in this match. And now Jeremy Blake going for a little break dancing in the middle of the ring, and then a slobber knocks across the head of Hayden. So I don't know, guys. I don't know if Hayden's going to say yes or no. Will he accept the proposal? I mean, if he says yes, it'll... And it'll be a huge opportunity. He'll have the chance to unify two single titles, make history. I mean, Hayden just won his first championship gold a couple months ago, defeating Xander Slade at WWE Live. What the hell is he doing right here? I don't know what the fuck that was. Just getting an elevated view of Jerry Blake's abs, I guess. Hayden got a little bit distracted by the whiteness. Nice hurricane run a whip into the ropes. Hayden just won his first championship gold. Hayden is a season one veteran way back in NXT, and he just won his first championship just last month at WWE Live. And now he has the opportunity to win the Intercontinental Championship as well and unify them. What an opportunity that is, but he also has a chance to lose the world title, guys. Because remember, Jeremy Blake also has the opportunity of a lifetime. Blake made history at Vengeance by defeating Chad Vegas and becoming the longest reigning singles champion in the history of Community Universe money. We have history, guys. And now he can make history again this Sunday by winning the World Championship as well. And moving on to WrestleMania. What's Blake going for here? Forearm to the back of the head. Hayden's not having it. Chest bump. Good sportsmanship. Either way, we can't speculate. We're going to have to wait to hear, to hear from Hayden or hear from JBL. Fisherman suplex. Good hooking in for the pin. He's got the leg. Only a one count. Neither man has taken advantage of the no DQ rule or the false count anywhere rule yet. They haven't even left the ring. Hayden looking for his comeback. Jerry Lick has been largely in control of this contest. And Jerry Lick is not letting him hit his comeback. The A-lister back to his feet. Might have lost his comeback now. Going for some mounting punches. Now Hayden dragging Blake to the middle of the ring for a headlock takeover. The A-lister now trying to regain some stamina. He better get back to his feet quick. Blake's looking to capitalize. Blake, when did Blake mount his comeback? I didn't even see him kick up. What the fuck? Well, he's going for it anyway. Two calf kicks, and then he finished it off that twisting neck breaker. And now Blake. Blake looking for that sit-out gut buster of his. Can he hit it? No, Hayden reverses it near to the midsection. And now Hayden, Hayden, Hollywood hold. Hollywood hold from the world champion. He's got Blake in trouble. Will Blake tap? Yes! Jeremy Blake taps. Jeremy Blake submits to the Hollywood hold. 
And what a win for Hayden Blade Kitely here in the main event of Raw. Another upset. This has been the night of upsets tonight, guys. Upset after upset after upset here tonight on Raw. What a win for Hayden, forcing the Intercontinental Champion Jeremy Blade to submit here. And now Hayden offering a handshake. And Blake gonna slap the hand away. Blake's disrespect from the Intercontinental Champion as Hayden's offering to show good sportsmanship after a good main event match. What an upset. Blake wasn't having it, guys. After Hayden pulls out a huge upset over Jeremy Blake, Blake was controlling that match. He was largely in control throughout, but Hayden locked in that Hollywood hold pretty much in the middle of the ring, nowhere near the ropes. Blake was forced to submit, and then Hayden offers a show of respect, but Jeremy Blake just spits in his face and slaps his hand away. You got to wonder if that'll push Hayden over the edge, push him towards accepting JBL's proposal. After not only the defeat, he, now Hayden knows that he can beat Jeremy Blake. Now Hayden knows that if the Intercontinental title were to be on the line of the Royal Rumble, he can beat Jeremy Blake and unify the titles. And Blake also smacked his hand away. That's just going to make Hayden angrier, make him want to take the Intercontinental title away from Blake. Not only just beat him to retain the, the World Championship, guys. So now I'm, I'm pretty confident that Hayden is going to accept JBL's proposal after everything that just happened and that main event. We still have main events to come, too. So don't go anywhere. Just give me one second. <laughs> la, 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 la. Just just softening up my uh, my vocals here guys. Just get, give me a minute. <clears throat> Making sure it's perfect for you, Zach. All right, we got a news alert. Let's see what that says. Competitive tempers run hot as Jeremy Blake and champion Hayden Blade Kiley approach their second title match. Well, it's not their second title match. It is their first title match, but tempers are definitely running hot after Blake just spits in Hayden's face and slaps his hand away after Hayden showed a, tried to show a sign of good sportsmanship after their main event match. Speaking of main event... Yeah, Sokolov. Whatever happened to Sokolov? Best NXT general manager ever. Better than Kane. Uh, no, we won't start with a tag match. We'll have a one on one match. Uh, hmm. I think we'll have. Sokolov to win the Royal Rumble, though. For sure. Uh, uh, uh hmm. I think maybe we'll have, I'm thinking Rob Snyder. Nah, maybe not Rob Snyder. Chad Vegas, perhaps? No, nah, we'll save Chad Vegas for the main event of main event. Uh, so we'll have Rob Snyder. We'll have him take on Duo Max, what a rematch for a couple weeks. <clears throat> a couple weeks ago on main event. How about you go jump off a bridge, Zach? How about that? That'd be more entertaining than Slate versus Zach Payne. Because we know Slate would just completely dominate it, so there's really no point. Alright, Rob Snyder versus Duo Max on a rematch from a few weeks back. Let's give Duo, let's get, it's time for Duo to get fed. He needs a win under his belt. Uh, and then we'll have some tag action. We'll have the industry. There are you, Adam White. There he is. They haven't been in tag action in a few weeks. No, we don't. Silva. Silva is White's tag team partner universe. And they can go up against... Uh, hmm. Let's have them go up against the hit squad. Old Jackie Rays. And Paul Anderson. 
his squad has just been declining rapidly ever since losing the, their uh, WWE Tag Team title match at Vengeance. They just take a loss at their loss at their loss. And Jackie Ray just seems fixated on Sunshine. Just can't take his mind off of Sunshine. He, he can't admit to losing to uh, <clears throat> the man with a broken smile at WWE Live last month. Just keeps coming out to his matches, attacking him. Our main event, main event is going to be, if WWE will load anytime soon. Come on, WWE. God. Damn, the long ass fucking loading screen. God damn. All right, there we go. <clears throat> that was that was a pretty good main event, main event. Sunshine on Mega Z, and Triple H, and a Triple Threat. Uh, we're not having Slate versus Pain. Go maybe next week on main event or something. We're going to have Ringo Max. Uh, who should he take out? Let's think of Chad Vegas for a rematch from last week. Um, but I don't know. Who was it on Raw? Uh, everybody was pretty much on Raw. We've seen enough of that. <laughs> We've seen enough of Ringo versus Mike Miles for a while. One day they will they will have their rubber match, but not tonight. I also do Chad Vegas. We haven't seen Chad Vegas in quite some time. Uh, we'll put on this tire. Chad Vegas has been off Monday Night Raw for about a month now. Since since Vengeance, we haven't seen him since he lost to uh, Jeremy Blake in that Intercontinental Championship match. He's had himself a nice little vacation. Stepped away from the ring. Been training. So we'll see him return to in-ring action here tonight. Uh, kick it off. Episode 72 of Main Event. We're going to have Rob Sunder taking on Duo in a rematch from a couple weeks ago. And Maxwell finally going to get himself a win. I knew he was going to win that. I was just tr just trying to boost Duo's momentum a little bit as he heads into the Royal Rumble. He needed that win. And now we got the industry taking on the Hit Squad. And the Hit Squad finally going to pick up a win, defeating Aaron White and Silva here tonight. And now our main event, main event, going to be a rematch from last week's show in which Ringo Max did defeat Chad Vegas in a dark, uh, a dark match. Now we're going to see it live this week. The newcomer Ringo just made his debut two weeks ago. Been in a, a, a heated feud with Mike Miles as of late. Both of them are one-on-one. -on -one. Like I said, we'll see their rubber match sometime soon. But tonight, Ringo's going to have to get through Vegas again. Vegas, a season one veteran. Like I said, he's been off. Of, I got to say, I got to stop saying like I said so much. We haven't seen Chad Vegas, though, on Monday Night Raw or at all since, <clears throat> or besides last week, since Vengeance. We'll get to see him live here tonight. We need our dose of Chad Vegas. Yeah, there's that crop shot. Chad Vegas thinks he's a magician? Well, <laughs> fucking check uh, Ringo Max out here. Just made that whole entrance thing disappear. Can't top that. Chad Vegas and his lame ass water bottle tricks. They just can't. They can't uh, size up to what Ringo Max can do. I just can't believe they fucking put this song in 2K. It blows my mind. Ah, uh, give it to me. Faster. Harder. I can't know why they would put that in the fucking game. Blows my mind. It's hilarious, though. It's an amazing theme. My eyes! Ah! Chad Vegas, ready to get some redemption for that loss he took last week.
Vegas, another huge name in the Royal Rumble match this Sunday. Perhaps he'll bounce back and we, uh, Chad Nichols has never had a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship, I just realized. He's a former Intercontinental Champion. Never had his shot at the big time, though. Perhaps if he can win the Royal Rumble match this Sunday, he'll get his opportunity to main event the grandest stage of them all, the second annual Royal Rumble event. We'll have to see if he can get through Ringo here tonight, though. Here we go. Main event of main event time. Ringo Max colliding with Chad Vegas in a rematch from last week's show. Referee going to ring the bell. Both men tie up with a collar and elbow. Ooh, neither man, get, neither man gets the early advantage. Hard Irish whip into the corner from Vegas, though. Close to a forearm to the back. Ringo scouts it out. Nice reverse mat slam from Vegas. Walker Bolay tops anybody. Let's be honest here, Cobb. Hurricane Rana from Ringo right to the ropes. And immediately going to lock in the figure four head scissors on Vegas. It's going to be a rope break. Luckily for Chad, that's a tough move to get out of. Struggling for control. Controlling the head. Man, Zach, you're funny, dude. Are you a comedian? Should be. Now Vegas has Ringo locked in the side headlock, but quickly Ringo gets out of it. Another head scissors. Right back to the side headlock for Vegas. Vegas ain't playing around here. Trying to keep this new trying to teach this newcomer a lesson and respect. Back to the collar and elbow again. The fans are gonna start chanting boring pretty soon. The community universe mode crowd does not like tie-ups. They hate him. This could be big. Cross leg and choke hold, yes. And there's there's Ringo Max with a jumping leg takedown. And now locking in the cross leg and choke hold. Another rope break though. A headlock, Ringo goes for a knee to the head. Chad Vegas able to scout it out though. Not a hard iron swoop into the turnbuckle yet again, knee to the back of the head. And now Ringo gonna put on a show for the ladies. Gonna show him, show him what he's got. Twirl in the hips. Uh, Warrior, what's up, dude? This isn't your typical universe mode playthrough on WWE. I only take cause. It is universe mode, but only with cause, my friend. So you have to have an Xbox One, you have to make your own call, and you have to join the website. Chad Vegas back to a season. A pretty slow starting match. Vegas looking to change that with a butterfly DDT here, planting Ringo right onto the face. Right onto his face, right into that canvas. Over to the chest, follows it up for the Russian leg sweep. And now again, they're gonna put out a show for all the ladies in the audience. And we know how he finishes it off. Rapid mounting punches here. One, two, three, four, five. One after the other. Now Ringo, what's he looking for? Nice! Nice fucking tilt the world shit fuck. Hurricane Rana tits. That's what that move's called. The tilt the world shit fuck Hurricane Rana tits. That's that's the move I just made up. That's what it's called. Deal with it. Ringo Max now largely in control here. Going for a neck breaker on Chad Vegas and he gets it off. That's how Ringo won his match against Mike Miles a couple weeks ago on Raw. Targeted in the neck heavily. 
wore him down for hitting that SOS. There's a jawbreaker from Vegas. Can he get his comeback? No. Vegas' comeback is in the corner. He probably lost it by now. He's going to lose it. Ringo stand on top of him, make sure, making sure he can't use it. We got first, Ringo. What are you going for? Going for a suplex. And he gets it. And some more mounting punches here. All oh, the ladies love it. Chad Vegas with the counter. Oh, right down in the mat. This is Vegas' opportunity to get back into this match, mount some offense for himself, gain some momentum. Ringo's been in control for the last few minutes, goes for a shoulder takedown. Vegas isn't having it. Quickly, Max counters into a forearm smash, though. That time he got the shoulder, the, the, the shoulder block. Goes for a springboard body splash. Vegas pulls a Samoa Joe and rolls out of the way. Chad Vegas shoving Ringo Max face first down on the mat. Now going to go for a pin. Will Chad Vegas keep up the uh, the chain of upsets here tonight? Almost every match on Raw was an upset. Let's see if main event is the same. No, oh, what the hell is Ringo Max locking in a Boston Crab here? Vegas in trouble. Chad Vegas in trouble. Will Vegas tap? He's trying to make it to the ropes. Rex, he got to move out of the way. Oh, Vegas. Ringo let it go. Vegas didn't even make it to the ropes. Trail TDT. That had to wear down the legs a lot on Vegas. The walls of Ringo. Yeah. Standing shooting star. Vegas now just trying to stay on top of Ringo. What does he got for us here? Butterfly suplex. Right into the ropes. Right in the corner, I should say. And now it's going to be Vegas who's going to try to hit a springboard move. Goes for a springboard fucking 450 leg drop, it looks like. Ringo moving out of the way, though. Now Ringo with another suplex to Vegas. Going for the pin off the suplex. <laughs> what a devastating maneuver. The dreaded suplex. Nobody wants to get hit with that. Remember in... WWE 13 when uh, Shave Advance finisher with a snap suplex. And now the Whirly Bird head scissors here from Ringo Max right in the bottom rope. That did not look too, uh, too comfortable for Vegas. Over the pin, only a two count. Vegas with another butterfly suplex here. Got some fucking distance on that. Just threw a Ringo across the ring like it's nothing. Now we're gonna play the rolling game, Vintage Universe. What do you got for us, Vegas? Going for a swing gut buster. Knee right to the midsection. Hard Irish whooping to the corner again. So many fucking strong Irish whoops in this match. It's hard to keep count. Vegas, another butterfly suplex. God damn. Almost threw him out of the ring with that one. Look for your rope right there. The crowd really is dead in this match. The <laughs> crowd's just not having this match. It's been a pretty slow paced, dare I say, boring match so far. But Vegas looking to change that with a suplex lumbar check. And he falls into the pit. This could be it. Ringo in trouble. Only a two count. This match has been so slow paced. Oh, what a wheel kick. God damn. Ringo just got knocked into another dimension. The main event of main event is usually the best match on the show, though, Board. This is a change of pace. I think Ringo might have gotten a... Uh, Knock with another fucking dimension after that wheel kick. He doesn't know where he is right now. Both men have finishers. Now it's just a matter of who can hit theirs first and get into the pin. Oh, uh, Vegas, what are you doing? Going for another springboard. And he got it this time. He got the springboard sent on. 
He's going to go for another one. Come on, don't get cocky, Vegas. There you go. See, it cost him. Because now Ringo's going to be able to capitalize. Yep, Ringo stalking Vegas. He's looking for the SOS. A little bit too close to the ropes. Better be careful. He's going to get it. That might be a rope break, though. It is a rope break. It's a rope break. Chad Vegas' hat was clearly underneath the bottom rope. you got to be careful, Ringo. He always hits that SOS so close to the goddamn ropes. And now an arm wrench. DDT falling a kick to the gut. Ringo looking for his comeback. He's got to hit this. Yes! Forearm smash. Another one. And now he ducks under Vegas' clothesline attempt. Spine buster. Spinning spine buster. Beautiful. Ooh, and now some thrusts as Vegas makes his way to the turnbuckle there. Oh, and now, now just choking Vegas out in the corner. Going for the pin. One, two, only a two count. Ringo Max successfully pulling out the comeback attempt. Now it's just a question of whether or not he can capitalize. Yes! Ringo! Ringo! Sunset flip powerbomb beautifully executed. One, two. Oh, not a three count. So close, but no cigar here for Ringo Max. But wait! Tiger Bomb! Tiger Bomb! He's got it! One, two, three! Ringo Max and Tiger Bomb picks up the win here over Chad Vegas. And here's some highlights from the matchup. What a win for Ringo Max, ladies and gentlemen. Picking up the three count off the Tiger Bomb. That time it wasn't near the ropes. So luckily, he was able to get the one, two, three. I, there was no way that Vegas was getting out of the pin there. He got hit with the comeback, signature, and then the finisher. Beautiful Tiger Bomb executed perfectly for the one, two, three. One big move, too many here tonight for Chad Vegas. As Ringo Max picks up another win over the veteran. Zach Hay will forever be in a tag team with Big Show until the end of Community Universe mode. Great win for Ringo Max in the main event of main event here. Defeating Chad Vegas yet again, the young superstar. Definitely having a, a good debut, a good first month. He'll be competing in the Royal Rumble match this Sunday. We'll see if he can pull out the upset. <coughs> Great show, guys. As though, is you're gonna dump Big Show? I don't think so. Even if you dump him in a, uh, even if you dump him in a promo, I'm still gonna make you team with him. I'll just make you team with a different version of Big Show. <laughs> you will forever be stuck. There it is, guys. There's the second annual Royal Rumble. I cannot wait. Mike Miles, wait, Big Show. What a triple threat. Thank you guys for joining me, though. As always, another great show. Remember, if you're new to the show and you like what you saw, I stream every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday. So make sure you follow me if you want to keep up with the show. All the uh, past broadcasts are on my YouTube channel, which is linked on my Twitch page. If you want to go check it out over there. And the website for the show is communityuniverse.forumocean.com. Communityuniverse.forumocean, forum, O-T-I-O-N.com. If you have an Xbox One, if you have your own call, and you want to join the show, head on over there. Even if you don't have a call, you just want to check out the site, you're more than welcome. But thank you guys for joining me. Royal Rumble will be tomorrow around 6 o'clock. You know I'll be late. But uh, thank you guys for joining me as always, and make sure you like it if you liked it.